It's that time again. It's election season in America, the midterm elections coming up in a couple of weeks. Every seat in the House of Representatives, one third of the Senate seats and a number of governor races are up for grabs. And a big question that Paul and I often get is, well, do the midterm elections, do politics impact the stock market and do they impact my investments? And the answer is yes. We'll go over that in just a moment, although the answer may not be entirely what you think. Hey, friends, Adam Hammer here, Chief Investment Officer at Hammer Financial Group in Lockport, New York. Uh, up on your screen, you have a study that was done by American Funds Capital Group that looked into this very question. Can midterm elections move the markets? Five charts to watch. I'm going to go over a couple of charts that I think will be valuable to you that can help you understand it better and make you a better investor. The first chart that I'd like to look at is actually chart number two. And chart number two shows the S&P 500 since 1931. Now, the black line on your screen is the S&P 500 when there is not a midterm election. And the blue line is also the S&P 500, but it is when there is a midterm election. So what's the obvious takeaway from this graph? Well, the obvious takeaway is that in years in which there are midterm elections, you can see that the return in the market is noticeably lower than years in which there is not a midterm election. And that has definitely been true in 2022, which has been a very difficult year in the investment world. That's the takeaway from that chart. How about another chart to look at? Midterm election years have higher volatility. What does that mean? Well, again, you've got the S&P 500 since 1970. The midterm election years are in the blue bar in years in which there's no midterm election, there's the teal bar, the green bar. And what can you see? Well, you can see that the blue bars, years in which there's midterm elections, there's higher volatility almost every year. And if you take a look in the middle of the screen, you can see the little box here, volatility spike in months leading up to the midterm elections. So two, two, two big takeaways, right? Right off the bat, Midterm election years tend to have lower returns and we have more volatility. Well, that's definitely been true in 2022. We've definitely had lower returns and we definitely have had more volatility. So it might be like, wow, there's not a lot of good news here, but there actually is good news. And that's chart number four here, which is market returns after midterm elections have actually been very strong. So once the election is over, the returns in the market have done extremely well. You can see all of these years on your left and all of the blue bars, they're all positive. And take a look at the, the box here uh, towards the lower right, average one-year return after a midterm election, the uh, return of the S&P 500 averages about 15%, where in all other years, only 7%. So again, leading up to the midterm elections, the markets have done poorly. They've had a lot of volatility, but after the election, historically, things have gone and done very, very well. And people ask, well, why is the reason for that? Probably the best explanation is that after the election, there isn't as much uncertainty. You know, before the election, you don't know who's going to win. We don't know what the policy out of Washington is going to be. But after the election, we do know who's going to be running things and what the policies will be in the market, like certainty and does not like uncertainty. So after the elections, markets tend to do very well. Let's show the last graph here before we wrap things up. People ask, well, you know, is it better if Republicans are in charge, Democrats are in charge? Well, the reality is that stocks have done pretty well regardless of who's running Washington. You can see the uh, blue bar on your left, unified government, one party control, about 10% return on average. Uh, unified Congress, one party controls Congress. The other party is the presidency, about 7%. And then a split Congress, about no, almost 11%. 
So although you may have your preferences about who you want to see win, uh, the market has done well with both Republicans and Democrats uh, going back and forth in terms of control of Congress. And we will see what happens in the future. But historically, things uh, certainly this is the time of year when things can be very good. So to recap everything, the market in a lead up to a midterm election is usually pretty poor. A lot of volatility in midterm years. We've definitely had some of that. But after the election, market returns historically have been very strong. And we'll hope that that's what's going to happen for the rest of this year. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this of interest, of value, you can reach out to Paul and myself. We'll get back to you via email. You can go to our website. You can check it out here. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you on another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.